Hey everyone, welcome back to Tabletop Core, and today we're talking about Top 8 Data Sheets and Space Marine Codex. Alright, so welcome back to Tabletop Core. I'm CJ. I'm Josh. This is Josh, right? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, so today we're going to kind of do a deep dive sort of deal. Top 8 Data Sheets in Codex Space Marines only. We're not talking about supplements, Forge World, anything like that. We're just talking out of this book right here. This book only, and we're talking our opinion. Mm -hmm. No one else's. These are things you see up in the meta, kind of all over the place. Um, this is our personal ranking and kind of how we think, um, how strong certain units are. And yes, you should include them in your army. And if not, maybe you should do something similar. And uh, just basically whatever works best for you. Yeah. Um, so that's that. And we'll be off to the list. All right. All right, number eight on our list of the top eight best Space Marine units. The Eradicator. Eradicators. Yep. Why wouldn't you bring them? They're Gravis. Mm -hmm. They're tough. Mm -hmm. They don't die. They got Assault melta guns. Not even regular melta guns. They got the new melt of Rule. Mm -hmm. Just everything they do is so good. Like, oh, uh, yeah. If you're not taking attack bikes, you take Eradicators. Yes. That's, that's why they're on the list. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, you'll see attack bikes somewhere on this list. Yeah. But one is better than the other. Yeah. If you don't have one... Take the other. Yeah, 100%. Um, eradicators are great because you can combat squat them. Mm -hmm. A lot of people take two units of three when you can take one unit of six and combat squat them at the mm -hmm. table if blast is a problem. Um, and really, they're just all around a great unit. Oh, yeah. You know, toughness five, three wounds. I mean, they're just they're just a great unit. Tough, and they're tough, tough. 135 points, I think. Something squad. like that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, something like they're that. They're so good. All right, number seven on the list. Blade Guard Veterans. Why are these on the list? They're basically the Paladins with no magic, and they're way cheaper. What do they cost? Like 35 points a piece? Or oh, something yeah. 105 stupid? points, I think, is all a unit of Blade Guard is. Oh, it's the gosh. same stat line as Grey Knight Paladins. <sighs> and they have a better save. Yeah. Two up, four up. Strength five. Yeah, and the same stat line. Damage two. Yeah. They're so cheap. So tough. I mean, they're, they transhuman them. Yeah. Damn, Their just... swords are flat damage, flat two damage. Oh my gosh! I mean, they're in minus three. <laughs> I don't know. If you're not playing them, you need a good reason to not be playing yeah. them. Yeah. Number six on Space Marines top eight. We're gonna go with the Primaris Chaplain on a bike specifically, mm -hmm. but you can build any Chaplain to do this. Um, that's kind of up to you and your flavor. If you need a jump pack or whatever and want to roll an roll an old Marine, cool. Um, so the good thing about the chaplain is you upgrade him to Master of Sanctity. Um, you give him the Wise Orator trait, so he's like doing his litanies on two ups. Yeah. He can do two litanies a turn, and he's basically a beat stick, right? He's he's what toughness five on the bike, seven wounds. That's insane. Those are very good. That's insane. Yeah. Um, either on the bike or on jump pack, you give him the Benediction of Fury. Gives him plus two strength, minus two AP, three damage. Flat three damage, like he's killing anything in the game. Yeah. Um, and buffing your units along the way, right? Yeah, I mean, if you got the points, put them on a bike. There yeah. you go. Yeah, unless you have a very specific reason on needing a jump pack so that you can get inside a terrain or do some weird shenanigans, mm -hmm. throw them on the bike. Just so good. Yeah. Number five on Space Marines top eight data sheets is the Vanguard Veteran Squad or Wolf Guard, but we're not worried about that. Um, so these guys make the list because they're just, you give them a jump pack, you give them a lightning claw, you give them a storm shield, and they can just, they're so versatile. You get a two up armor save, four up invuln, you move 12, your infantry so you can do actions. I mean, what else are you asking for? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're super quick, fast, cheap infantry terrorizers. Oh, yeah. I mean, they, like you said, they got the four up invuln with this, with the, the storm, storm shield. shield and then the lightning claw rerolling. Plus one attack and then re-rolling it, the wounds. Yeah, re-rolling wounds is yeah. huge. I mean, you can buff them with, with a chaplain. You can res them with an apothecary. You can give them full re-rolls already with the yeah. captain or a chapter master. They're just super good. Once you bear down and you actually look at specific chapters, obviously they get better. White mm -hmm. Scars, uh, Blood Angels, uh, Space Wolves, those sorts of things. But these are great in any Space Marine mm -hmm. chapter. And you need to be running... Two units of five, two units of ten in a 2,000-point game, and uh, wallop some people. Oh, yeah. 
All right, we're back for number four on Space Marine data sheets. We're getting dicey here because yeah. all these units can kind of be interchanged from here on out. They're all that good. Um, but for us, we selected Redemptor Dreadnought specifically with the plasma, but you load it out how you want to. Um, so this dude is insane. Mm -hmm. You can give him Wisdom of the Ancients to turn him into a captain or a lieutenant. Mm -hmm. Reeling ones, right? Wants to hit, to hit yep. or wants to wound, yep. you choose. And obviously you have to do it in a command phase, kind of restrictive, but you should know what you're doing in your turn mm -hmm. and be able to plan accordingly. Um, and it's a six-inch aura. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. So good. These guys are core, you know? <laughs> yeah. They're they're so tough. Um, the <laughs> Reducing damage by one because they're... The eternal obviously. stock. Yeah. Across the board, just reducing damage by one. Insane. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't have much else to say. Take the plasma, overcharge it, have a captain nearby, or use Wisdom of the Ancients, and you're good to go. Oh, yeah. All right, we're back for the top three data sheets from Codex Space Marines. What do you think it is? Inceptors with plasma. Pew, 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 plasma. Oh, yeah. Gotta have the plasma. Yeah. Um, God, these guys. We keep we keep harping on Gravis. It's so good. It's the toughness five. Mm -hmm. Three wounds. The, the armor save. Um combat squads huge 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 you know just run a unit of six cut them down to three if you need to at the beginning of the game yeah reserve them hide them um i don't know what else to say. i mean i mean they move 10 inches and their guns are 18 inch range so i mean they've got a 28 inch threat range 28 inches before right off, they yeah. advance i mean that's really that's so good um the reason why everyone runs plasma is because you overcharge it right you yeah. get up to strength eight minus three two damage which kills in the marine meta right mm -hmm. Um, so they're starting to look a little outdated plasma wise. That's still really good against some certain vehicles, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Eldar, Drukari vehicles, but you don't always have to supercharge, right. but if you do, it's just gravy. Um, briefly, we'll talk about the bolters. They're not bad either. They're 18 inches, strength five, minus one, one damage. Yeah. And you get six shots. Like that's going to shoot and kill some yeah, dark elves. For sure. So, uh, don't sleep on inceptors with bolters either in the future. All right, top two. We're going with the attack bike. Why? I mean, what else is there to say about them, really? I mean, <laughs> they cost a million dollars. Uh, yeah, other than they're super expensive to find right now, <laughs> but they're so good. Okay, 14 inch move, toughness five. What, what did we say? Four wounds, mm -hmm. three up armor save. Mm -hmm. Revivable by Apothecary, replacing the ATV shenanigans. Yeah. Um, the strength is is that they have a multi melta on a fast, cheap, durable platform. Mm hmm. Um, you can give them obsec with rights of war. There, if you're trying to make the most competitive space marine list, you got to have three units of three. If you're going to spam them, at least have some in your army somewhere. Yeah. They're just don't leave home without them. The only reason why we do here is because we haven't bought them. So right, you got to choose between them or eradicators. We pick eradicators because they're easy to find. Right. That's all I got to say about those bad boys. Me too. Let's you ready see. for number one? Let's do it. All right, and number one for the top data sheet in Codex Space Marines, you've probably been asking for it, but you probably already know, too, yeah. what it is. It is the Apothecary. I don't care if you take a, a Primaris. I don't care if you take a regular one. If you're a Ravenwing, you throw one on a bike. Mm -hmm. um, but this dude is just a house. Oh, it yeah. makes the army so, so tough. You know, you have to upgrade him to a cheap Chief. Apothecary. I mean, that's the only way you do it. Mm -hmm. You have to. You make him uh, your warlord, you give him the Vox, the Spiritum, increases range, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that adds three inches, and then you give him the Selfless Healer Warlord trait, right? So we're, we're reviving how many guys a turn? Selfless Healer lets us um, automatically heal up to three wounds, mm -hmm. so that's really good on a bike or Gravis. Very good. Right, and then um, each time you do combat revival, it costs zero command points. Like... <laughs> We're just we're just reviving people left and right. We're healing everybody up. Mm -hmm. Like it's so good at, at healing Terminators, Gravis bikes. Um, you saw this guy everywhere early on in the meta. He's kind of tapered off because more people are running some dreadnoughts, mm -hmm. um, a little bit faster moving stuff. He can't keep up because he doesn't have a jump pack. Um, you see him a little bit more in Ravenwing because he has a bike and he can keep up with the rest of the army. But hands down, he is the absolute strongest data sheet in this book oh yeah 100 percent. Um, there's no question his current power in the meta may have waned some all these numbers are kind of up to you on where you rank them this is our personal opinion on where they rank 
Mm -hmm. Apothecary is the best. Attack bikes right there with it. And scepters, so good. Mm -hmm. um, you can't go wrong if you pick any of this stuff in your army. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really know. If you could put it all in, put it all in, honestly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So fit, you can fit almost all this stuff in your army. Yeah. Um, you're going to be trimming some blade guard probably. Um, but you need an apothecary is in your army though if you're yeah. running gravis yeah. blade guard and have bikes him. just have, have them in there and watch your opponent cry every time you bring a bike back <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right everybody thanks for tuning in this was josh and i's first top eight video of most powerful data sheets and codex space marines in this game yep um like i said this is our opinion doesn't have to be yours uh, just look at these kind of as ways to build your army at any power level combat patrol incursion strike force these are all tough, strong, durable, cheap in some some regards. Yeah. Best units in the book. We're going to do a few more of these for some other books, right? Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do some more deep dives on this book, stratagems, um, warlord traits, relics, that sort of thing. And also... Uh, combos. How, combos. Yeah. How to build some. Yeah. Really good characters. Mm -hmm. cool. Thanks for tuning in. Thank we'll you see guys. you next time.